morning, everybody. Welcome to the Visual Arts Campus TV. Our topic for today is self-discovery. Learning objectives. Today, we will be learning about how to explore your strengths and weaknesses and designing using geometric images. Character strengths. We have 24 character strengths in total. Let me show you some examples of them. Love of learning. Love of learning. Love of learning means to have curiosity to learn more things. Bravery. Bravery means to not fear to do anything. And last but not least, fair fairness. Fairness, fairness means to support equality and treat everybody and everything equally. Interview. Come on, let's interview some students. Let's invite our MC, 5C Judy, to take the interview. What is your strength, Davia? Can you tell us? My strength is that I have social intelligence. And I know that because I am very efficient in bonding with new people. Thank you for telling us. What is your strength, Charissa? Can you tell us? My strength is creativity because I like to draw. Thank you for telling us. What is your strength, Shaina? Can you tell us? My strength is kindness. I am very kind to people. I have a lot of friends. It is because of my kindness. Thank you for telling us. What is your weaknesses, Navia? Can you tell us? My weakness is that I am not able to focus on a topic that I am not interested on. Thank you for telling us. I, I think whether those characteristics are positive or negative, accept them as a part of your personality. Thank you for sharing your strengths and weaknesses. I think whether those characteristics are positive or negative, Accept them as a part of your personality. Have you seen this type of art? It's beautiful, isn't it? This is called mirror art. The upper section of this kind of art has your strengths in it, and the lower section has your weaknesses. In this picture, the upper section shows that the drawer loves cats, as it shows a cat and a heart. And in the lower section, the drawer is very shy because it shows a cross and a comment box. How about yourself? I'll give you three seconds to think about yourself. Very good. It's good to know that you know yourself. Part two, designing using geometric images. Can you look around you? Geometric images are all around us. What is geometric art? Geometric art is based on the shape and patterns. Number one, symmetry. Symmetry means parallel to each other. Number two, pattern. Pattern means repeating a pattern on and on. And number three, tessellation, also known as repetition. Take out your worksheet. Let's finish it together. Do you know what symbol represents curiosity? That's right. It's a magnifying glass, a binocular, and a question mark. How about zest? Zest means to be very energetic. That's right. It's a fist, a double, and arm wrestling. Artists can use geometry to develop a theme. Conclusion. Let's share your strengths and weaknesses with your teachers and classmates. Come on, let's make a card. Thank you for watching the Visual Arts Campus TV. Hope you learned something new today. Bye-bye.